and welcome to my channel if this is your first time to be in my channel then don't forget to click the subscribe button and of course if you want to be notified every time I'm going to upload a new video then click the bell button right now I'm here outside because this is the best time to be outside here in Nigeria because the weather is not that hot well it's already around 5 p.m. it's late afternoon and in the morning honestly it's so hot it's very very hot that's why if you want to go out well this is the best time to go out here in Nigeria today we will going to talk about why Nigeria is the best place for you to stay mm-hmm I know I know there will be some people who will going to raise their eyebrows honestly I don't know how to how to raise eyebrows I'm not good in that <laughs> But I know a lot of people who are very, very good in raising eyebrows. I think that's their talent. <laughs> So why is it good to stay here in Nigeria or to raise a family here in Nigeria? Well, first, Nigeria doesn't have much calamities. Yes, this land is blessed if it comes calamities because they don't have much of it. If you will go in to look at the map, in the world map, you will see that Nigeria is a vast land. I mean, they have a very big land and they don't have much oceans or sea or water. Of course, they have rivers, they have streams. So maybe that's the reason why they don't have much calamities. I'm not sure if they have volcanoes, but I never heard before if there's any volcano eruption. Earthquake, I didn't hear any news about earthquake in Nigeria. Typhoon, no. So that's why every time I will tell stories about the typhoon in the Philippines, the flood in the Philippines, the earthquake in the Philippines. You know, last year wasn't really a good year in the Philippines not only because of the pandemic there are birds <laughs> not only because of pandemic but of course there were calamities like January there was the volcano eruption and then there's typhoon there's earthquake oh my god so every time I will tell the stories to my in-laws they were like so worried about it because they never experience it that's why Nigeria is a safe place to stay because there's no calamity here there's no typhoon of course they have rain but the rain in the Philippines is really <laughs> scary you know from what I know um, there's some part of Lagos that have flood why because there are some areas in Lagos that are also reclaimed just like Mall of Asia area so it used to be a water I think even in, in Potakot they have that one it used to be a water then they just reclaimed the area they put sand they put soil and now there are buildings and houses on top of it so I think that's the reason why some areas in Lagos they have flood but their flood you cannot compare their flood from the flood in the Philippines in Manila and even other parts of the Philippines so guys if you don't want to see any calamities then come here <laughs> in Nigeria another one is Nigerians love to eat healthy and natural food yes they are like that honestly if you've been here before you will notice that there's no much fast food chain here in Nigeria no much fast food restaurant you will only see KFC and Domino's Pizza the other ones I mean other fast food that is also known in other country I don't think so I only saw KFC and Domino's Pizza even when I went to Lagos and in Abuja that's what I saw they love their local food so much if you will go into put KFC beside um, a restaurant that are selling local food sooner or later KFC will going to be bankrupt because Nigerian really likes their local food sometimes they will tell you that if you want to wicked at them then don't give them swallow within a week if you want to wicked at them because they really love their local Local and natural food another thing Nigerians are not fond of sugar of course they eat ice cream they eat chocolate but not much not like us 
Filipinos, Asians, Westerners, we eat a lot of that. You know, in the Philippines, if there's a new milk tea shop that will open, you will see Q. You know, I always go to BGC in High Street, and there was a time I really wonder what is in that tiger sugar? Because that was a time that they just opened, and I think for like few weeks, you will see Q, as in very long Q. When I went to Glorieta, I saw the same Q in that milk tea shop. So I was like, what's in there? And when I saw the name Tiger Sugar, well, I already know. Filipinos like sugar so much. That's why here, diabetes, it's not really common. Even cancer, it's not a common sickness here. And like in the Philippines, because we have these lots of junk food, even if you go to their grocery store, you will not see much junk food. And like in the Philippines, once you go to the grocery store, as in one aisle, not even one, more, filled up with junk food. But here, you will only see few of them. That's why a lot of people here can live up until 100 years old. The grandmother of my husband passed away when she was like, I forgot the exact age, but she was more than 100 years old. The last time we went to a party, of an elderly woman i think they were celebrating her 90 something years old i forgot <laughs> again the exact year but she's really very old but she's still strong so that's how they are here number four children's training yes children's here are well trained well i'm not saying that they have all the manners in the world but they have respect especially with elderly if you see a child here and you will see the mother of the child calling that child i'm telling you you will not hear wait i'm coming you will not going to hear that one they will going to rush just to check what their mother wants them to do that's how they are here and yes they beat children here they beat children because they really want to train them in other country even in the philippines we are now avoiding beating children well beating children is not really i think the correct word to use i think they're just good to discipline children the children here are really disciplined because they really have respect their elders even if the person is not their parents or not their uncle they will still give respect to that person be because of the reason that they are his or her elders and that one will going to bring us to the fifth one well the fifth one is nigerians have respect to the elders i already said it no matter your age as long that you're talking to an elder then you need to give that elder a proper respect well filipinos are also respectful if it comes to their elders but here in nigeria the level of respect that they're giving to their elders is really amazing <laughs> you know if you are a child and you start to do tantrum once that elder somebody that is older than you will tell you that if i hear tim if I hear him, they already know what's next. So that's how they are here. Number six, Nigerians love their culture so much. They are really embracing their culture and tradition because until now, they are still practicing. Well, there's a lot of Nigerians who go abroad, stay abroad, and come back here for like for a long time, but still, their culture and tradition is still with them. As what I said in my other vlog, you will still see Nigerians wearing their traditional clothes and they don't play with it. Even young children, they still know about it because they are trained to know their culture and traditions. Number 7. Nigerian students are very serious if it comes to their studies. In this country, you will see Nigerians, I mean children, crying if they can't go to school. They are crying if they don't have money to buy their items in school, if, if they don't have money to pay for their school fees. You will hear them complaining that yesterday they didn't go to school because there's no school, because their school have this uh, rally, this protest, that the school closed. They are complaining about that. Here in Nigeria, you will see children here crying because they cannot enter their classroom because they had some issue with the teacher. <laughs> or they are crying because they don't have school today and they don't want 
to miss school because they don't want to miss their studies. That's how serious they are here. But in the Philippines, <laughs> of course, <laughs> I was once a student and I know how happy I was. <laughs> Not only me, come on. <laughs> how happy I was when there's no school. <laughs> If they says that, okay, there's no school today because of the typhoon or because of the rain, well, I'll be very, very happy. <laughs> But here in Nigeria, you will see students crying because they don't have school for today. Number eight. Well, as most people know, Nigeria have oil and they have lots and lots of oil. Well, the problem is they don't have 24-7 electricity even though they have an oil. But fuel is cheaper here in Nigeria. Yes, it's almost, not almost, I think it's even more than 50% off. If you will compare it to the fuel price in the Philippines. It's really very, very cheap here. That's why if you want to drive around, if you want to go for long driving, go ahead. Fuel will not be your problem because their fuel here is cheaper compared to Philippines. That's why most of them turning on their generator is not a problem because their fuel is very cheap. Number nine, Nigerians are business oriented. Yes, and I'm very, very proud because I will not be a businesswoman if it's not because I marry a Nigerian. Yes, that's true. Honestly, before, I used to believe to my employment, to my job, because I was employed. Well, I was doing good. I have a good job. But later on, I realized that, hmm, I want to be a boss. Well, I'm not saying that working the companies is not good. Of course not. That is still good. It will going to give you experience if you decided to open a business. But I'm so happy and I'm so lucky because my husband really introduced me to business and And from him, I discovered that I have a skills in business. So Nigerians are very business-oriented people. Even the children here, you will see how they think. They are very, very wise. So if you are here in Nigeria, you have to learn from them. If you are with a Nigerian, you have to learn from them. And I'm telling you, you will discover that you have a skills in business. They are very, very good in grabbing opportunities. That's why they don't rely on their government. Because they always says that they can do it on their own. And number 10. Well, I don't want to be unfair in saying this one. But I can say here in Nigeria, during the pandemic, life is normal. I can't say that there's no COVID-19 here in Nigeria because they says that there is. If you will go out there, you will not see people wearing masks, wearing face shield. They will only wear masks if they want to enter any establishment. Establishment. But once they get inside, they will go in to remove their mask. And I was so happy when I got here during the pandemic period because what we experience in the Philippines is really, hmm, oh my God, you know, to wear mask and facial all the time. Although sometimes you'll get used to it, but it's still, it's very uncomfortable. So here in Nigeria, you will not go into fear of COVID-19. You will even forget that there's a COVID-19 pandemic because you You will not going to feel it here at all. Thank God that this country is still living a normal life compared to the other countries. So that's all for now. Well, thank you very much for staying with me. Well, before I end this video, I would like to thank my friends, my family, my schoolmates, my classmates who supported me in my channel. And of course, I want to give a shout out to my very, very close friend, my good friend Cholo and his wife they are now in Melbourne Australia so guys once the pandemic is over I'm going to see you soon <laughs> So thank you very much again for staying with me. If you want this type of video, then give this video a thumbs up. Then please don't forget to subscribe. So have a nice day. Bye.